It is Monday evening and first day that I was leaving Riley outside of the crate for my full work day. And I think when it comes to her, I underestimate her all the time. Uh, so I was really concerned, but I really don't feel like there was that much of a reason for me to be concerned. I feel like by the time I went out of the house for the second time over the weekend, she most likely didn't really have any issues. So by the time today rolled around, I was much less concerned and honestly wasn't even too worried by the time I got home. But today, I actually decided to finally book my tickets to go home. I was talking about it, but I actually hadn't done it yet because I was kind of waiting to see if I could get tickets at the best price. But this entire time when I was looking, it seemed like it was wavering between 300 to 400 depending on what days I was returning or what day I was flying out. What I didn't realize and I hadn't checked until today was that my Delta plan Sky Miles actually had 36,000 miles on it, which I think might have been because of me signing up for their credit card two years ago or something and then maybe getting bonus miles from that because I have only flown three times since then and I don't even know if I used that member number for any of that or if I flew enough to actually garner that many miles. So I am so thrilled <laughs> to say that the miles covered my entire round trip. Uh, the round trip was costing 31,000 miles, then I had 36,000, so all I had to pay was a small $11.20 fee or something like that, and I am flying out on July 3rd and then returning on the following Monday because that makes the flight cheaper at $289, but just in general, it won't cost me anything except a couple extra fee stuff. So right now I am trying to get my emotional support animal flying stuff all sorted. Delta seems like they are a little bit more rigid than all the other airlines that I've flown in the past. I think I did United Airlines the very first time, then when I went to TI I did WestJet and both times all I had to do was email them my ESA letter in PDF format and I was good to go. But Delta, they want you to fill out a form yourself. They want a section filled out by the vet about her rabies vaccination records, but they also say I can forego that if I provide my own records that would possibly also include that information along with it. So I have those records, so I don't think I need to contact the vet about this because Riley's rabies vaccination is three years and she got it in 2017, so she's still good to go. They also want a part of it filled out by my mental health professional who I don't actually have one. I've been using a website to buy my travel letter. So I did email her and I asked her if she could fill it out. So hopefully she will do that for me. It's so brief, it's just one page. And once I have that, I will just submit it. And I would prefer a middle seat along with a window seat, which was what I got for TI because it makes it so much easier. I get to put her in the window seat so she's next to the wall underneath the chair and nobody really notices she's even there, which I like. I'm just hoping that I can get all these forms submitted in as soon as possible and then once I submit the request for ESA, I want to ask them for that arrangement. So hopefully I can get that done, but I'm really, really happy that my trip home isn't going to cost me $400 or something like that because I was thinking that would be the case. But now the only other thing I need to figure out is car. I don't know if my parents will have a car for me to drive. From what I can recall, they have two cars and we have our van, a Honda Odyssey from a long ass time ago. That car is maybe 10 years old, definitely maybe more than 10 years old, but they each drive a BMW. My dad has a 535, my mom has a 300 something, whichever numbers model they have for BMW in the 300 range but I don't feel comfortable driving other people's cars because you feel like you have to be so careful with it. And especially when it comes to my dad, he is overly anal about his car to the point where sometimes he parks far away in the parking lot just so he can try to protect his car. I don't really know if that's always the best thing to do because that kind of singles your car out but he does stuff like that. So I would never want to drive his car because 
it's his it's clearly his baby I don't want to get anywhere near that and plus if I'm bringing Riley places which I will and if we go hiking she will get dirty and I don't want to mess up his car so I was originally planning on renting a car but that would be about 170 and that could be a cost that I could totally negate if I use one of their cars but I have to speak to them about it first because I don't know if the van will be an ideal car to drive because it doesn't seem like it works very well or maybe I am underestimating that car also <laughs> but oh Milo right near my foot I kind of felt antsy to get it done today for some reason and it's weird too because it's freaking March there's so many months still until July but I guess that's just how I am once I have plans like this I just want to get the tickets purchased and I think the main reason I wanted to was so I could secure it at a good price but since I have miles that did give me a little bit more leeway but I am honestly so thrilled that this trip won't cost anything. I will have to use one PTO because the cheaper flights were coming back on Monday. So I just decided, sure, let's just do that. Hi there. <laughs> I know this must be very unusual, right? I never, ever, ever wear caps. So let me go into why I decided to get one, which is kind of random, but I was watching Ah, oh, I was watching a shitty movie. I was watching Second Act with Jennifer Lopez and I will say that on first glance this movie is definitely not one that I would ever choose to watch because I just know it's trash, but I have a soft spot for Milo Ventimiglia who is an actor that was in Gilmore Girls and he played a teenage boy that was kind of, I don't know, a troubled teenage boy, but I really liked his dynamic with one of the main characters, Rory, and I thought that their relationship or their interactions were really sweet, and for some reason his character has always really stayed with me, so I haven't seen his actual work in a really long time because he has mainly done TV shows and a show like This Is Us that he is on with Mandy Moore, that show is not the type of show that I would watch. So I just haven't seen any of his work in forever, but wanted to watch this movie for him, even though he was barely in it. It was mainly Jennifer Lopez. But anyways, so silly. <clears throat> in that movie, Jennifer Lopez and Vanessa Hudgens, they end up playing mother and daughter and something that they were doing once in a while together was jogging together and Vanessa Hudgens was wearing a cap in this movie while jogging and then while watching I was thinking oh shit when you wear a cap it keeps all of the hair mostly out of your face because it smushes it down and it prevents the little flyaways from getting into your face and that is something that I struggle with a lot um, that's why I wear my hair clips because when I'm working out, I don't want any of that hair dangling in my face and I don't usually wear it out in public. So something like this, I would like to wear whenever I walk Riley because it's usually windy. My hair is usually down when I walk her. So it's blowing everywhere, getting my face and that's annoying. So that is why I decided to buy this. And honestly, I kind of like the cap look. Um, I just, I don't know, never really got into hats. Hats was always a fashion accessory to me and it's something that I would have thought would be cute to wear, like a beret or something, if I was fully dressed up in my fall outfit or my winter outfit, but not something I have ever really gotten into. So it feels weird for me to wear this, but I uh, <clears throat> I think I like it very much. So you're, you're gonna see this semi-often, depending on where, when I'm recording. Obviously, if I'm at home, I don't really think I'll be wearing this. I don't know if there's much purpose wearing it indoors, but outside of that, I have been having some trouble with shoes, which I feel like sometimes it feels a little pathetic to me when I have issues with sizing on clothing and shoes because, you know, I'm fucking 27 and I shouldn't be having problems like this because these are things that you need to make sure you are satisfied with when you decide to keep something you buy, right? But for some reason, I have noticed that every single pair of sneakers that I own, they aren't 
fully comfortable in a way that I would like. And I stopped wearing heels, right? In my everyday life, I barely wear heels anymore because they are freaking uncomfortable for your feet. And that's why I started wearing sneakers a lot and I like it a lot. But for example, I have this pair. So I wash these and God, it smells so bad because I guess I just wasn't able to get it to dry quickly enough so the water wouldn't make a smell. These are Metcon 4, I think. And these were a pair that I bought last year for full price. I think it was $130. And on the website, they looked really nice. In person, I guess they still look nice, but there's this coloration and stuff now because I've been trying to wash it and I feel like it leaves stains or whatever. What I've noticed with these shoes is that they kind of press down on my feet in this area. They just squeeze at my feet that any time I wore them in the office, I wanted to take them off right away. And honestly, half the time I'm at my desk now, I don't have shoes on because they don't feel comfortable. They squeeze at my feet. And I was reading something about how it would be good for us to be barefoot more often because a lot of the shoes that we wear are not actually good for your feet. And this pair is the newest pair that I've gotten. I haven't bought sneakers in a year and I've realized that these are just not comfortable for me, which is surprising because in the past, I've always considered my shoe size to be six and a half, but these are sevens and sevens felt like a stretch for me to go even up to. These obviously are not shoes that I would really like to wear that often because of that discomfort. I have a pair of black shoes, also Nike, at work that I usually leave there because if I ride in, then I have a pair of shoes that I can change into without having to bring it in my backpack every time. So those feel way too small for me nowadays because they just feel tight. A lot of my shoes feel tight and I am kind of displeased about that nowadays because that's not something you need to be dealing with. Um, stuff that you put on your body, I just feel like they should feel like an extension of you. They should not be, you know, making you feel suffocated and that's how I have been feeling in regards to my sneakers. I checked a few websites and I was looking at sales and I decided to buy two pairs of sneakers from Puma. Um, Baby. <clears throat> so they're pretty much the same style. So it looks like this. <laughs> here's one, and then here's the other one. Yeah, they're similar in style. I was wearing this one inside my house yesterday for most of the night just to see how I would feel after hours of wearing them, and I feel like this is actually pretty comfortable. I also decided to size up to a 7.5, which is a size I have never bought in my life. So maybe that is my actual size where I can comfortably wear shoes and not feel bad. But anyways, what I just tend to notice when it comes to buying stuff nowadays is I really enjoy looking at the sale section. And in the past when I was younger, I just had the stupidest mentality where I was like, I don't need to buy stuff on sale. I can just buy stuff full price and I'm happy about that. I don't need to save money. I can just buy this freaking new item that's freaking double the price and I'm fine with that. But nowadays, I like checking the sales section. It feels good to save money because you get to buy more stuff with your money. So there is no rush. Who cares about seasons, right? Oftentimes, shoes like this, you know, there's dirtiness on here. Shoes like this go on sale because they're an old style. They're from last year's season, and who gives a fuck? <laughs> I am expecting to keep these because at least for the black ones, they are comfortable. Outside of all of this, I have been having a rough day as well as yesterday. Um, nothing as crazy as what happened to Riley, but it was just weird. Yesterday I had a strep throat, and then I decided to come home early from work because I wasn't feeling well. But when I got back, 
I was trying to sleep and I was getting chills. <coughs> I think that's what it's called, where basically your body is just really cold or something is wonky with your body temperature where in a normal situation you're not cold but I was freezing under the covers in my bed and the home temperature was higher than I normally have it for when I go to sleep so I knew I was kind of going through something I'm not sure if it was a fever or not maybe it is because after a few hours last night I felt better and I got out of bed around 9 o'clock and played some auto chess and exercised on my spin bike for a few hours but when I went back to bed I was going through the same thing where I was so cold and I couldn't fall asleep for a while so it kind of sucked because this morning I was kind of going through um, a similar thing where when I woke up I just knew I couldn't go into work so yeah today right now it's Wednesday and I stayed home from work but <clears throat> I was maybe experiencing the other extreme where I was sweating like crazy I was drenching my sheets and I was thinking I feel like one of the few moments in my life where I do tend to think about how nice it would be to have somebody relationship is when I'm sick because I've noticed that anytime I feel very poorly internally whether it's sickness and I know that I have you know my pets and I have Riley but they don't really feel like they help at all because at least for Riley she I've talked about this before she's not that affectionate when it comes to lounging like sure sometimes she might actually lie right next to me she just tends to keep to herself especially in bed so these past few days while she's healing i've been letting her sleep in the bed with me and it's funny because her personality when it comes to sleeping is basically like mine where i've always figured that if i'm in bed and if i slept with a boyfriend i would want my space I would not like the idea of cuddling and falling asleep that way. That's very uncomfortable for me. I want my space. So she's basically the same. She does not lay super close to me. She basically lays at near my feet and off to the side. And so basically when I was feeling sick and crappy earlier, she, it didn't really feel like she was providing much comfort, which is why I tend to think about how nice it would be if I had somebody. So yes, that is one of the few moments in my life when I think about missing that. But at least right now, I feel better to actually do stuff. I decided to order some groceries because Shane was telling me vitamin C is good for stuff like this and I don't have anything in my home for when I'm sick. I don't really know how to address it very well. Uh, I just don't feel like I've been sick to this level very often as an adult. Yeah, since I want vitamin C and since I don't want to go out and get it, I will deliver my groceries so they can bring it over for me. So they should be coming shortly. So yeah, I think she has been doing really well, actually. She doesn't, I don't even know if she has taken notice of her wound much at all, but it's early in the day right now and she hasn't chewed on anything in a while and at first I was thinking, oh shit, did I not actually buy anything for her yet? But I have. I bought her some pig ears <laughs> and I think she would enjoy that very much. So I could take the cone off temporarily and let her chew it. I think that would be a good idea for her. She hasn't been doing anything much these past few days. Cute as this. I haven't seen her do this in a while. <laughs> Oh, Sammy found a piece. The texture on that seems like plastic. 